Hi Englishers or English learners, I'm back. Uh, this is Ma'am Raya and for today's lesson we're going to have English Proficiency Test Review 4. Okay, so this will be another topic for those professionals who are um, dreaming to have a job in the Yes, uh, in the Department of Education or anywhere um, in which the English proficiency test is required. And I have just read okay, a certain ESL um, school that they are actually requiring EPT or the English proficiency test before you are. Uh, yes, it's part of their process in the recruitment. So I hope that this um, lesson will help you land a job in your ESL industry too. Okay. And actually some of these questions, yes, I just found out that um, some, of these, some of these ESL industries are actually using these um, questions or grammar questions. Okay, I hope that this lesson will really help you with your, uh, uh, when you are trying to look for a job in ESL industry. Okay, so let's get started. And by the way, before um, we'll start with the first question, um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also like my video if um, you believe this is very beneficial to your review. Okay, so let's get it on. So um, again, um, the flow of the discussion will be, uh, I will be providing 10 questions um, with a Yes, 10 questions and then there will be four choices and um, I'll be providing the, uh, the correct answer and then a, a, a brief explanation on why it is the correct answer. Okay, yes, yeah, so the first question we have here is all their children are allowed blank exactly what they like. Okay, we have choices here. Okay, to do, do, doing for doing. Okay, I hope you are also answering there. Yes, I hope you can get 10 over 10. Okay, so the correct answer here is to do. All their children are allowed to. Okay, so again, we mentioned maybe some of, or one of the topics uh, we have here, um, the phrasal verbs. So there are terms, um, verbs that are um, just paired with this, uh, you know, with this exact um uh, what's this preposition? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so allowed to. Okay, so we have allowed to do exactly what they like. Okay, next, number two. No offense intended. Blank. I think you haven't understood the problem correctly. No offense intended. And okay, that is the first thought there. You have another thought here. Okay, the choices we have. But, as, if, when. Okay. So you would know that the use of, okay, the correct answer here is but, yes, so um, contradicting, contradicting idea, okay, but, so um, if here is for condition, right, so there is no condition in the situation, okay, as like there is a reason, when, so it's something like um, the duration, okay, it's possible, so um, the only correct answer here is but. Okay, next number we have, women have to fight hard to gain black equality. Choices we have, okay, a non, uh, the, and her. Okay, it couldn't be her because, yeah, women, it's uh, plural. So, if this is there, then there will be possibility. Um, our answer here is none. So, the sentence remains the same. Women have to fight hard to gain equality. So, this is a general truth um, equality is the, the general so you don't need to have the here yes like we are pertaining to a certain equality and then this idea again is the whole truth or the general truth yes so just leave it as it is okay number four please come and see me blank day you like all every any some Please come and see me. So it couldn't be all day you like. That is why please come and see me any day you like. Okay, yes, I think that is understandable. Yes, so any day you like, it's, um, it's okay. Not every day you like. <laughs> okay, number five here. 
When I first came to Britain, it took me a long time to blank on the left. Okay, choices are be used to driving, become used to drive, get used to driving, get get used to drive for letter C, sorry. Letter D, get used to driving. Mm -hmm. Okay, our correct answer here is get used to driving. Okay, so the use of get used to in our sentences would mean or would express that there, the action or the situation becomes uh, more comfortable or more convenient for the person doing the action. Yeah, like that. I get used to uh, waking up early in the morning. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, the opposite. <laughs> yes, when you are new to the place, so sometimes it takes you... It takes you a lot of time to get used to do, get used to doing something. Yeah, so that's uh, expression actually. So it could be an idiomatic expression. Get used to doing. So it means um, it is an expression to uh, to be used for people yes, or situations that um, the action or the situation becomes more comfortable or less strange to them already. Okay, I hope um, I'm making myself clear there. Okay, now let's have number six. I borrowed a blank bike and went into town during the lunch break. Okay, choices. Friend of mine's. Friends of mine. Friends of my. Friend of my. Okay. So, uh, our correct answer here is, here is, I borrowed a friend of mine's bike and went into town during the lunch break. Okay, so, a friend of mine is, yes, uh, it is already like a, a friend of yours. My friend is just like that. I borrowed my friend's a bike. So, it could be, since we used friend of mine, yeah, so it's like the, possess the possession part. Okay, the bike of a friend of mine. Okay, a bike of a friend of mine. Okay, so possessive form. Okay, now let's have, okay, I forgot to edit that part. Okay, lucky for you, you already have the answer. Okay, we promised to keep in touch whatever happened to us in life. Okay, so the choices, whenever, wherever, however, whatever. Okay, um, it, these are all adverbs. Uh, we use whatever here, or the correct answer here is whatever. It because it is because okay, whatever means no matter what. Okay, however is yeah, regardless of how, whenever, at any time, or every time. So we don't say we promise to keep in touch. Um, whenever happened to us in life. So whatever, no matter what happened to us in life. That's why whatever. Okay, that's the use of whatever as an adverb there. Okay, now let's have number eight here. I had no difficulty blank their house, although they had said that people often did. Okay, choices. To finding, to find, finding, for finding. Okay, so again, it's really good good or it's really an advantage if you really have a prior knowledge on the phrasal verbs so what are these pos uh, what are these um, verbs that uh, need to have a link to another preposition that they always have to be together so we have here difficulty finding so the the, um, the verb next to it is with always yeah with ing form verb plus um, I, and G, I had no difficulty finding their house. So you can't say I had no difficulty to find. So it couldn't be. Okay. Difficulty finding. I have difficulty looking for okay, an ESL job okay, at this situation. Yes. I had difficulty setting my uh, screen. I, had dif I have difficulty dealing with, uh, dealing with a new normal. Okay, so always difficulty, verb plus ing, or what we call the gerund. Okay, so that's um, another expression there. Okay, number nine we have, I can't imagine any reason blank he would have behaved in such an extraordinary way. So choices we have, why, how, which, for. I can't imagine any reason, okay, um, the correct answer is, why 
<laughs> yeah, not he. So I just copied he here. It's a why. I can't imagine any reason why he would have behaved in such an extraordinary way. Okay. Now uh, let's. Uh, yeah, it's a why because we're asking. We're looking for a reason why you can't um, imagine that. Okay. Now let's have number ten here. I find blank very strange that Anne has not been promoted yet. So um, correct um, the choices that, them, it, her. Okay, I find it very strange that Anne has not been promoted yet. Okay, I find that very strange. So uh, we don't use that here. It's because uh, we don't uh, pertain to another idea here in the sentence. Okay, so just I find it very awkward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the expression here. Okay, I find you can't say I find very, I find her very strange. Okay, so it's not about her. Okay, it's just the situation. Okay, the situation why um, Anne has not been promoted yet, like that. Okay, I hope um, yes, th this is too easy. Okay, and uh, the explanation helps you in um, looking for the correct answer. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you so much, my dear Englishers, English learners, uh, for joining today's lesson. And I hope you enjoy learning with me. So stay tuned for the next uh, video. Okay, thank you and keep safe, everyone. Okay, bye for now.